Alrighty guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. Um, I guess uh, everybody knows that we uh, we exist on rainwater, basically. Our only water source is rainwater, rain catchment. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to uh, make ourselves a filter. We, we like the Berkeys, but the Berkeys are like anywhere up to 500 bucks. You know, we, we can't afford something like that. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna build our version of the Berkey. Something that'll look pretty good sitting on the counter. Uh, so a lot of people can use like plastic buckets and three gallon buckets five gallon buckets but i mean we don't want a plastic bucket sitting on our counter all the time i don't think that'll look too good so <clears throat> anyway we're going to make our our version of the berkey and uh that way we'll have purified water if you know if anything was to happen uh, we can just basically just run our water out into the bucket and bring it in here and pull it in so anyway what we're going to do is we're going to build one out of stainless uh, to make it look pretty good and uh but anyway if you hadn't done so yet um uh, take a minute to, you know hit that subscribe button down there a lot of people that watch our videos are not su subscribed to our channel so uh if you got just a second just hit that subscribe button but anyway um we'll get started on this and i'll i'll get the stuff out like i was saying we're gonna we're gonna build a lot of stuff stainless um uh, what i did do was um uh, i did order the berkey replacement filters um, I got a four pack of them and I'm going to use two of these and uh, these are from Walmart um, these are the 12 quart stainless steel pots these are the perfect size for what we're doing um, basically I've got you got to have two of these uh, just make sure you get the ones with the metal lids like this because they do come with a glass lid too and that won't that won't work for what we're doing so we had to wait a couple weeks you know wait till they got more in to buy these two um but anyway like i said we got the filters we got these and what'll happen is we're going to take one of these handles off these lids and this other pot is going to be on the top like that it's pretty simple to make uh the only holes that's going to be in this entire thing the only work really you got to do to it is you got to drill these handles out you got to drill these rivets out and I did uh, buy a uh, Berkey, um, I guess a spigot. You know, it's a high, it's a quarter turn spigot, and uh, we'll be putting that into the bottom one like that. And it is it is true stainless. It comes with the, the rubber washers and everything. This is the stainless one. It is an actual Berkey one. It's real heavy stainless steel, so it'll be a nice one. Got to go with the little theme we're doing here. But uh, anyway, like I said, this is pretty simple to do. Um, but you also want one thing you're definitely going to want you know you put your spigot in here it's going to be down low like this and you don't want to hang it over side the over side of the bar or the table or anything like that to get water out of it so what I did is I went to uh, Lowe's or we did and we bought a flower pot stand basically you just do it just like this right here then just spread it out a little bit to fit the fit the container that you're putting in there like that well, something like that it's a little stiff anyway then just set it on there and that is you got to close it up of course like that be just like that and it is the perfect height to set you know you spig it on the spig to come out here be perfect height to set you a glass or something to get your water out and under right here so and this will hold roughly uh it's a it's a 12 quart it's 12 quarts in it. yeah three gallon pot and it'll hold you know two and a half gallons of water at least because you have a little bit of reserve down here no matter you can't put that plum on the bottom or you won't be able to get it all out or you know you won't be able to you won't have room for your washers you got to make sure when you drill that hole it's up high enough for these washers to go on it and not hit the bottom of the pot so anyway when you measure it, you got to count for that so you'll lose roughly half an inch off the bottom of the pot but still i mean that's with all of them okay but anyway that's the stand that we got and that come from lowe's actually instead of a, i'm going to adjust it the way i want it the size i want it and i'm actually going to glue it and i'll probably put a couple staples in it just to hold it because i don't want it just flopping around you know i want to make sure it's good and solid so with that being said that'll be the last thing we do close this up 
take it apart. Alright, I'll get this out of the way. So, let me get my other stuff set up and I'll be right back. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing this inside, so I brought a couple pieces of wood in here to drill on. I got a chunk of two before on top of this bar top, so I really don't want to run this drill bit into the bar. So what I've done is i got just a little small drill bit. I don't even know what size it is. It's just small enough to do like a pilot hole and just to run through the rivets right there. So, if I can get the rivets out, the reason I'm doing that is because if you look, the rivets are spaced out perfectly for these two filters to go in. There's a hole and there's a hole. So I'd be perfectly spaced out for the filters. So I'm gonna try to get these rivets out. holes out right here you drill these out the size of this they come with like a wing nut and a rubber washer and uh, you need to drill it out that size right there so I think, I think it is a second step in the bit so we'll we'll go there That is the third step on the drill bit. Okay. Just like that. Okay, there's the two holes that we need for that. But at least some burrs on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and try to get the burrs off of it. Pretty good. Okay. Basically, what you're left with is the lid with two holes in it. I'm trying to make sure I didn't bend it up too bad. Hey guys, this there's still got a little bit of a burr on it, so I got me a file and I'm gonna run it in here. Try to knock these burrs down. Good enough. You really just want it to where it's not going to poke you or cut you, basically. Make sure you don't bend it up where it's still fits good. Alright. Okay, there, there's the lid. Alright, what you want to do is kind of flip this lid upside down and put it on. Try to center it the best you can on the bottom of the pot. It don't got to be perfect because this ain't rocket science. It's water filter. But get it the best you can. Take some kind of marker and mark out those holes. Okay. Because what's gonna happen is whenever you mount the filters inside here, it's gonna come through here and it's gonna actually attach this lid onto the bottom of this pot. And this will cap and set on top of the other pot. I'll show you what I'm talking about here in just a minute. Me, uh, drill these holes out and uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. That thing got red. Huh. I still gotta go to the next one. This bit is already dull. Right side on. So actually it's the one, two, three, it's the fourth step on the bit for that. Alright. So here's what we're left with. Left with a pot with two holes in the bottom up. Basically it. And you got the lid with two holes in the bottom up. This pot is gonna sit on top of this lid, put your filters in. And those filters are going to bolt these two together, just like that. And, but I'll show you more about that in just a minute. I'm going to clean these burrs up on this one right here, and I'll be right back.
got the I got the burrs off of it and I rinsed it out, rinsed it just in case there's any shavings in it or anything. So basically what I'm gonna do is take one of these filters and leave the rubber washer on the inside and put it through. Like so. Put the lid on. Like so. And put your wing nut on. And you're basically just bolting the two together is all you're doing with the filters where they need to be. These things are rated for 3,000 gallons of water. Uh, so that'd be 6,000 gallons if you put two in there, from what I was told. Um, and that ought, to, that ought to last several years. And these things, as you can see, just look carbon, like a carbon filter some, of some sort. Really, I don't know what they're made out of. They're just breaky, breaky replacement filters. Line up the holes. Put the rubber washer back on. Here's the other pot, There's the lid that we didn't do nothing to. So basically, you put this one on the bottom, you set this one on top, and that's the way it looks right there. Then you have this other lid that goes on there. So you're basically left with pretty much a Berkey filter. We're not done yet. We have to put the spigot in this one. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to eyeball it. It ain't gotta be perfect. Right in the center, like I said, make sure you leave enough room for these big washers because you don't wanna go plumb against the bottom. If you do that, it just it ain't gonna work. I think he's neoprene, neoprene or something like that washer. Silicone washer. Huh? No, I got it. You got one that goes on the inside and one goes on the outside. I mean, you can get the, the plastic ones you can order. You can order these things for three, four, five dollars online. This one here is the original Berkey one. I wanted it because it was stainless to match this. I mean, basically that's all we're doing right there. I'm gonna put that in there just like that. So I'm gonna take my marker. I'm just gonna eyeball it. From there, I want it to be about right in here somewhere. And then I want it to be up enough toward that doesn't interfere with anything. So just kind of mark it right there. And there's where I'm gonna put it right there. But I was gonna use the step built step bit. But that ain't a happen. That thing is junk. So some more harbor freight bits here. Probably ain't gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is take my battery back on this drill. Drill a pilot hole. If I can get one of these to work. I already broke one of these. I'm trying to drill the first pilot hole and there's what's left of that. So with all that being said can't recommend these bits neither. So I'm gonna drill a pilot hole. I'm gonna stainless these bits. If you don't drill a pilot hole just like that, even doing that one, it just walk all over the place and scratch your pot all the pieces and everything if you don't watch. That's what it's trying to do. So I just sent it on. Um, I think, I'm not real sure, but I think that is a, it fits right in there, so it's at, even that's not big enough. So, I may have to drill it with this one and try to get that step bit to finish it off.
but it still isn't big enough. That was a big spit in the set. Still isn't big enough for that. So, I'm hoping the step bit will at least work enough to do that. Most likely not. Okay. Outside. Oh, by the way, guys, while we're working on this, if you haven't done so yet, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. That's the only cut we have to make on the bottom one. Like I said, just needs that one hole in it. And what we have left is a 12 gallon pot with a hole in it. That's all we have. So, with that being said, this is the spigot. It goes right in there just like that. I mean, it's about as close as you can get to the bottom, and the washer still work. So, we'll do that. Put the dishwasher inside, the rubber washer on the inside. Okay. Then the nut. I guess if anybody knows anything different that they would be using, I mean, you can put them down in the uh, comments down below and tell us what you'd do differently. Because I'm always open to suggestions. Right. So, what we got now is a pot with the Berkey spigot on it right there. Yeah. I didn't scratch it up too bad. Alrighty, guys. There we have it with the spigot. Okay, here's the top one. Cap right on there, seals it up. No dust, no dirt can get in there. Then you have the lid. All right. But, I mean, there you have it. You can leave it just like this if you want and just set it on the side of the counter, whatever you want to do, as long as you can get something under it. But, uh, let's see, like I was saying, take it back apart. What I'm going to do is I was actually going to make one of these, but we was in Lowe's and I actually seen this one, so I grabbed it. That saved me a whole lot of time. So, anyway, put it together. I'm actually going to glue this thing, though, because, I mean, it, it ain't real flimsy right now, but it ain't real sturdy, neither. So what you do is just put this on there, like that, and have your, have your spout in the middle. And just close it up on it. Just like that. Put your top one on there. With the filters. There's your lid. Put your glass under. Get you a drink. Whatever you need to do. Put your glass. Gotta get these shavings up. Though. But anyway. That's pretty much it. And it don't look that bad sitting on your countertop. But I'm not completely done with it yet. It's got to have our branding on it. So, we have these stickers. That's going to go right there. That'll hold. So now let's put it together. Basically, wipe the excess glue off of it. But here's what we're left with. Kind of snug fit, that's the way I wanted it. Just like that. Right, once it gets water in it, it ain't gonna flop. Just around them and they gonna wiggle around too much. That'll work for now. Right, and basically, line the handles up, basically make it look better. And right there's what you left with. That is our, our Berkey. I think um, these pots is $12 a piece. Um, the filters, two of them was like, um, I got them on sale. They're like 60 bucks for the two filters, but I got another set 
just in case, you know, just down the road because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. So we'll have a set to put back in our, our supplies. And uh, the spigot right here, the spigot or spigot, whatever you want to call it, um, I kind of went a little expensive with this thing. It's the original Berkey one. It was like 30 bucks, you know, for the spigot, 28, 30 bucks because it's stainless steel, heavy duty, quarter turn. But you can use one of the little, like four or five dollar ones off of uh, eBay or anywhere. I just wanted this one because it, you know, stainless like the rest of it. And the sticker, that's ones we had made. We shipped a, shipped a couple of them out to people, to our subscribers. Um, they turned out pretty good. So, put a little too high on my hand. Stand. Huh? In the stand. Yeah, and the stand was 12 or 13 dollars high. It, honestly, it wasn't worth it. Uh, I just got it because I wanted to set up on something for now. So, uh, anyway, I can break it down, show it to them again one more time. Okay, here's the top. As you can see, the top, the bottom lid is attached to the top pot. There's your two filters inside the pot. And your bottom pot, the only hole in it is the spigot, and that's it. Other than that, it's self explanatory. You know, two pots with some holes in it. It's pretty easy to make and it should last this thing should last if you just pour water in it drinking water it should last probably the filters it would last us five six eight years you know what i mean because the lady at the store said that she's still using the same two five six years now so no more than we'd be using it because we don't drink a whole lot of water with the carolina red readiness yeah carolina redness plot janet carolina redness she said that she's been using the same two filters for like five or six years now so anyway uh that's where I got the spigot from, is Carolina Redness Supply. Uh, the filter replacements, I ordered those online. Um, and the two pots, like I said, come from Walmart. So roughly we got maybe $100, $125 in it, maybe something. I said, well, we can add it up. 12, 12, 24. Uh, tax and I'll just say 25. Uh, two filters, say 60 bucks. Uh, that's 80. And that thing was just say 30. It's 110 dollars and this thing here was like 13 yeah it's, a, it's about 125 dollars right here and it's the same exact thing as a berkey same filters same principle yeah it's pretty much a, just a, a redneck version of a berkey so it's either go this route or spend anywhere upwards of 500 dollars for a berkey this size that would filter this much water so anyway guys if you haven't done so yet uh uh please uh like and subscribe as i was saying we have a bunch of people that you know that watch our channel that's not subscribed to us yet so if just take a second hit the subscribe button it don't cost anything you can keep up with our videos and stuff and uh hopefully this will help somebody and uh we're gonna set it over and put some water in it all right thank you guys